What's going on guys, it's Troy from What Gear Reviews. If you've got a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold device, then you might have an S Pen already, or you might be thinking about getting an S Pen. And if that sounds like you, then just know this, this video is made for you, because I'm gonna be showing you guys 10 tips and tricks that you can do with the Galaxy Fold Edition S Pen. Some of the tips are gonna be exclusive S Pen features, and then the other ones will be features that just work better if you have an S Pen. And check out the wallpaper on my phone. If you want a link to this, it's a secret link that you can't find on a search engine. I will share it with you at the end of the video if you stick around. So listen carefully now, because I'm only gonna share these tips once. Tip number one. So I call this one the blackboard. So when your phone screen switches off like it's about to now, and it's black, this is still a usable surface if you have a Fold Edition S Pen or the Pro Edition S Pen. Check this out. When the screen is off, if we push the button on the side of the pen, a little drop lands on the screen like so, and the screen is now ready to be drawn upon. If we hit the little dot up here in the corner, we can actually change the color of the pen. We can also change the thickness of the pen and we can also erase. Now check this out. I went on a trip to Paris the other week with Oppo and I asked a couple of people, what should I pack on my trip to Paris? And do you know what they said? They said I should pack toilet paper and water. So now I've got my note written down, what I wanna show you guys is how you can actually pin this little reminder to your always on display. So check this out. See the little pin up in the top right corner? If we tap that with the S Pen, we get an option now to pin it to the always on display. Now I have a note on my always on display telling me to pack toilet paper and water. Tip number two, okay, how to pin useful things to your screen. This tip is especially useful when you're traveling and I found this out the hard way when I was traveling to Paris. I wish I'd have known about this before I left. When you go to the electronic gate at the train station or at the airport, what you're gonna need at some point is probably one of these barcodes. Now you could add this to your Google Drive or kind of screenshot it, save it in your photo gallery, but this is actually a better method of storing the barcode for recall very quickly so you don't have to panic when you get to the gate. Check this out. If you hit the button on the side of the S Pen, you go to Smart Select here. The Smart Select tool pops up along the bottom of the screen and we have various options, but I'm gonna use the rectangle option here and draw a rectangle around the barcode. Now we've extracted that part of the document. What we can do here is actually pin and insert. So this little button above the bit we've cut out, we can pin that now so it stays on top of whatever we're doing on the phone afterwards. But that's a bit big and it's blocking the weather and all of that kind of stuff on the screen. We can move it around. Now, if you tap it and hit the inward arrow, we can actually shrink it down to a little box like this and place it anywhere on the screen. And now when we get to the gate and we're panicking because we can't find our boarding pass or train ticket, all we need to do is just tap that. It expands. We can scan that at the electronic gate and get through really quickly. And that is just one use case for this. This could be incredibly useful for various things like cooking recipes or shopping lists or bits of information you've extracted from a website. I'm sure you guys can think of plenty other use cases, but this is something I wish I knew before I went to Paris. So check this out. The first two tips were kind of productivity tips. This is a fun one. If we hit the button on the side of the pen, we go to smart select again, but this time we go to GIF down here. What we can do is actually make a GIF out of any video at all online that we find just by hitting that button, hitting record. And now it's recording a 15 second GIF, which we can loop if we want to. We can use it on various social media platforms, etc. And then if we want to customize it even more, we can bring the pen tool up and actually draw on the GIF as well. We can write text, we can draw funny faces, mustaches, glasses, all this kind of stuff. Or you could be way more sensible and use it in a more useful manner but this is really cool and I suggest you guys play around with it. The GIF feature is awesome. Okay, tip number four. Here's another practical tip for you guys. This is gonna be useful for you if you're studying or for work. So let's say, for example, in my use case, I'm researching the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and I'm writing a script or I'm taking notes about the product so that I can sound like I know what I'm talking about when I'm reviewing it. What we've got here on the Fold device is a brilliant feature. So if we hold the button down on the side of the S Pen, we get our menu. A little bonus tip here for you guys, you can actually reorder these buttons however you want just by dragging them around here. Hold down, drag them around. But what I wanna show you is this one, the glance. This is a great feature. So check this out. When I tap this button, the page that's on screen right now gets shrunk to the bottom right corner and we can drag that up to the top right corner so it's not blocking the gestures. Now I can go back to my note-taking app here and I can hover over 
the page I was researching and I can scroll the page and talk about the track back, track back. And I can write my notes about that. Then I can go back here, hover over. I don't need to touch it, just move it down. Okay, 590 milliamp hour battery. So you get the idea. You could take your notes and you can quickly flick back and forwards between the information and then copy it over to your notepad. And this could be incredibly, incredibly useful for copy and pasting loads of figures from a spreadsheet into a document or something like that. So that is an awesome feature. It's called Glance. Okay, so here's another really useful tip. And this could be useful for you if your eyesight isn't quite as good as it used to be, or if you struggle to read and keep a place on a page. Like for example, when I was a kid, when I used to try and read books, I'd really struggle. I'd end up reading the same paragraph like three times because I kind of focus on blocks of text as opposed to individual lines. So a tool like this is a great tool for maybe teaching people how to read or maybe teaching yourself how to read more quickly or just a tool to help you see better. If we hit the button and we go to magnify. Now we can choose the magnification level in the top corner here. Now when we hover over the text, we can actually follow it line by line and focus on one word at a time. Here's another use case. Let's say we want to inspect the details on a photograph like this. So check this out, we hit the little button, we go to magnify. Here we can turn up the magnification level to 300 and see what's really going on in this photo. That's the Oppo Reno 8 Pro. And you can see there's a bunch of people going through the gate over here. And that dude right there didn't let me into the event. Uh, I got left behind while I was trying to take photos outside and then the group went in and they're probably laughing at me being stuck outside the event. But anyway, check it out. It's a clock up here, quarter to two. So you can see how this could be a fun tool to use in various ways, but it's also a good productivity tool as well. I'm sure you guys can think of some good ways to use this. Okay, tip number five. This is not an exclusive S Pen feature. This is one of the features that's just better with the S Pen. For example, see the text down here that's tiny. Let's say I wanted to copy and paste that text. The way you would do this with your fingers is like this. You'd hold your finger down and then try and drag these little blue bits across. And then what happens sometimes is you end up highlighting completely the wrong stuff or more stuff or less stuff. You can see it's actually highlighted way more stuff than I wanted it to. And I promise you, I was not trying to make that happen just for demo sake. That just happened just now. The S Pen is a precision tool for copy and paste. We hold the button down before we even get near the screen and we go to the text and just literally drag over the section of the text that we want. Now we can copy and paste very precisely to our notes or wherever we want to paste within the device. That is a great tool. Another demonstration, see the tiny text down here? Hold the button first before we get to the screen and then we can highlight that text perfectly. So this is probably one of the best use cases for a pen on a device and that is for signing documents. And here's a PDF that I've made just for this video and I will be sending it to you guys at the end of this video. Okay, I'm only joking, I'm not gonna do that unless you ask me to. There is some cool stuff you can do within the Samsung Galaxy Notes app. In fact, I could probably do an entire video just about the functionality with the S Pen within the Samsung Galaxy Notes app. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna show you some of the cool ones. So see this little icon on the end here? This is auto fix shape. Now, if I draw a circle on the document, it turns it into a better circle. If I draw a triangle, we get a better triangle. If I do a cross, there we go, it's a cross. And then if we do a square, it fixes the square. Now, I don't know why you'd need to do that on a document. Maybe you could draw a square around a bit of text or something, but that's a cool little feature there. Check this out. See this little bubble writing with the red? If we go to that, that's the change style. Now we can change the color of that as well, but when we tap anything, we can change the color of it as well. That works with text as well. Okay, before I get carried away with all this fun stuff, let me show you what I intended to show you in the first place. So if you go to the pen tool here, we can bring up all the different pens, all the different colors. We're just gonna go with the regular black pen for now and the fountain pen. And here we're gonna sign my name. And you can see I've signed it diagonally and that kind of looks horrible. There's a tool up here called straighten. Push that and it straightens the text. And then another little tool I'll show you before we go to the next tip is we can highlight around the signature. We can shrink it down in size. We can make it bigger and we can drag it around and replace it if we need to. 
And once it's done, we can hit the three dots in the top corner and send it straight away using the share button here. We can save it to the device. We can set it as a favorite and there's various other things. And another cool thing you can do here is if you hit the paper clip, you can actually insert images into the PDF document. You can attach audio files and all kinds of stuff like that. So there's a bunch of cool things you can do here. Here's a little QR code for you guys to scan, test it out, see what happens. <laughs> I'm sure you can guess what it does. Uh, but yeah, that's just an example of what you can do here with the Samsung Notes app. And again, if you have the S Pen, it's just easier. Okay, so that was another productivity tip. Here's another fun one to play around with. And it's another great tool for making interesting social media content. Hit the button on the side of the S Pen. Here we're gonna go to live message. And you can use an existing photo from your photo gallery or take a brand new one straight away and work on it straight away. You can even do video clips with this as well. But this photo is now editable and what I'm going to do is add some effects to the photo. So I'm going to add some glitter over here to this angel on my shoulder like so and then on the other side where I have the devil I'm going to add some red glitter here and then for my eyes let's add some blue sparkle. There we go. Check this out. Here's my live message which I can now send to people online, post on my social media or whatever. This one is just a fun one, but it's cool. Tip number eight. Okay, so this is a great feature. Again, you can do this with your fingers. It's easier with the pen, especially if the text on screen is very small. So what we're gonna do here is extract text from an image. We can do screenshots and extract text from screenshots if we want, or if we've got a photo where there's some travel information on the background, we can copy and paste from that. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use this photo because it's at the top of my camera roll. We hit the button on the side of the pen. We go to the Smart Select tool again. We can use, let's use the uh, the lasso tool this time, just draw around the area where we want to extract the text from. Now, once it's been selected, the part of the image with the text in it, see this little icon down here, the little T in the box? If we push that, that now highlights the text on that bit of the image. And we can copy that text and paste it wherever we want on the device. So let's say, for example, you're at a lecture or a conference or some kind of event where they're showing slides on the screen. What you can do is take photos of those slides and then extract the information from the slides and put them into your own documents. Reword them, of course, you shouldn't be stealing other people's content because if you do that, you could get done for plagiarism. Anyway, it's a fantastic tool. Let me know how you could use this in your day-to-day -day life. Okay, tip number nine, this is another kind of productivity tip. This is gonna be great for you guys who are studying, for you who use your phone a lot for work, and you need to kind of share information and highlight bits of key information that you think other people should know. Hit the button on the side of the pin to bring up your menu once again, but this time we're gonna choose screen right. What this does is it captures a screenshot of what's on screen at the time and allows us to highlight areas of the text. One thing I recommend you do is actually change the transparency down to about 25% and use a light color, for example, yellow, and set it to highlighter. Let's say we're reading through a document, we find a bit of key information that we want to share. We can literally just highlight that key information like so. just like we would with a regular highlighter pen. And then we can hit the share button here and send it to our friends, family, colleagues, whatever. And if we need to, we can save it to our own device so that we don't forget. This is quite a basic tip, but an incredibly useful tip in my opinion. Okay, tip number 10. Now let's say for example, Samsung release a product in Korea that doesn't actually make it to your country or your part of the world, and you want to import it across from Korea. Now, the website is in Korean and you could try and translate the whole website, but maybe you only need to know what one or two words are. Let's say you know you wanna buy the Galaxy Watch 5 series and it looks like it comes with the buzz, but we don't really know. So let's check this out. If we hit the button on the side of the S Pen and here we go to the translate tool, we can set the language from Korean to English. And now whenever we hover over a word on the page with the S Pen, we don't need to touch the screen, it will show you what the word means. It will show you the Korean and the English. So check this out. Here's another example. Let's say the freestyle. What's that bit of Korean text above it? We hover over the first word. It says C and the second word says more freely. C more freely. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this seems very awkward and could take a long time to decode an entire sentence. That's why I wanna highlight this next little bit within this same tip. See where you've got the little T in the box up here where it says Korean to English. If we tap that, 
it changes the icon into this little line icon. And now when we highlight a block of text, like this for example, it decodes the entire sentence, not just a single word on its own. I think this is a very useful tool, especially when you find websites that don't give you the option to translate the entire page. Okay, so thank you for making it this far into the video. And of course, I've saved some bonus tips for you guys. If you watch my videos, you'll probably know that I always do that in the tips and tricks videos. I have to save something for those of you that stay to the end. If you hold the button down before you get close to the screen, when you double tap the screen with the pen, it brings up the quick memo app. Now we can write whatever we want and save it to our Samsung Notes app. That's a really quick way of taking notes. Now let's say for example, we want to delete part of this message. We can go to the eraser here and then erase part of the message like so. But that seems like a lot of effort. Check this out. When you hold the button down, when you're close to the screen, you can actually toggle between the eraser and the pen. When I push the button, the eraser tool comes up. When I let go, it disappears. So we can actually quickly erase parts of the text just by holding the button and tapping those strokes. Now I'm gonna show you the coolest thing, maybe the most fun thing you can do with the S Pen. So for the last time, let's hit the button on the side of the S Pen and bring up the menu. Here go to Air Doodle. Now Air Doodle will open the camera app on your phone. And what we can do here is actually create an AR video file. Hit the little pen on the side here. Let's use one of these pen tools. Let's go pink for Chun-Li down here. So we write Chun-Li excuse my handwriting, and this is a Pataka charger. This thing is awesome, by the way. I'm gonna do a video on this. Battery pack charger, earbud charger, um, and a desk stand all at the same time. So now I've created a video with all the stuff on my desk all labeled up, and you can think about using this in a practical way. Let's say, for example, you know car engines really well, and you're trying to explain to someone where parts of the engine are and what they do and where to change the water and the oil and all this kind of stuff. You could actually make a video and using the S Pen label up the parts that you're trying to highlight. Or you could just make some funny content with it as well. And there's a bunch of other fun AR features within the AR Zone app from Samsung that you can play around with. And I promised you guys I'd share my wallpaper collection with you. So it's whatgear.net forward slash wallpapers. And here you'll find the wallpapers that I use in this video. If you want to save any of these to your device, just hold your finger down on the image and download the image like that. And there you go. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. If you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And if you want to learn how to double your battery life on your Samsung Galaxy device, hit the thumbnail that's on screen right now. There's a bunch of tips and tricks there that probably nobody's going to tell you about because most of them are hidden within the menu system. Anyway, appreciate you guys for watching. If you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I will see you in the next one. So don't be late.